You know and love my first guest tonight as Gloria on Modern Family. Please welcome Sofia Vergara. <laughs> I think we have the best audience. Great in late music. Night right here. Yeah, unbelievable. <laughs> and we have the best guests too. And that's, the that's... best guests. No. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> this is the first time you're on the show. We're so yes, happy to have you, you here. Thank you for inviting me. Finally. Well, thank you for coming. Yeah. No, no, we we invited her a while ago, right? Yeah. We totally when? invited you a while ago. You know, you know, you weren't available to us. I'm gonna say. Well, I work in Modern Family. <laughs> You're very busy. It's in Los Angeles. We're yeah, here. I'm You're filming very busy right person. now, but I came because you know because you invited me for the first time. <laughs> but we were we've been in the same room before yeah. because we both did the uh, hand in hand benefit uh, yes. for the victims of Irma and Harvey. And you, I understand, had great seats. I you, had great seats. Who were you sitting between? I was. Well, first of all, I don't know. You did you see it on TV? Because I did like a photo bomb when you were talking. <laughs> Me and Julia Roberts, it was her idea. Do you have, do we still have this? Do we have the first, we'll find it. was it her idea, it wasn't me. Do we have it? Here, show, I think they have this. Show the, show the photo, you photobomb. We just got some amazing news. Our friends at Apple have generously donated five million dollars tonight. Five million dollars. I don't know what we were thinking. It was, it was such a natural reaction. It was like, like I don't know, we saw each other, we saw ourselves like with the TV, the camera in front, and it was like natural. And then we were both like, are we supposed to do be doing this? Well, no, nobody knew what to do other than to pick up the phone and to say, hi, thank you so much for calling and donating. Yes, you know, it was, but it was kind of like nice, you know, to, to listen to the people and to thank them. I really liked it. It was lovely. It was lovely people yeah. who called in. And uh, uh, was everybody happy to get well, you on the other end? Yeah, they were, they were very happy. Nobody said, like, put on so-and-so, no. Because uh, I got that. They're like, but, how close are you to Clooney? Just, can you hold his hand while you talk to me? But, yeah, you know what? It was like more about opera. A lot of people, because I was sitting next to her, they yes. were like, are you sitting next to opera? I'm like, yes. You're not, <laughs> and you're not just sitting next to her. I, we have a photo here uh, you posted. Uh, you're, you tried to uh, huff Oprah. <laughs> <laughs> I was What's smelling her. I was smelling her hair. Oh, I bet it smells like it's magic. Delicious. It, it, it was delicious. I don't know what she does, but um, I love her, and she was so oh. nice. It was. I mean, it was such a great experience to be there because you know what? Everybody was helping. Everybody wanted to help. It was really you lovely. felt it. Like every. We were no, into it. Felt it. We were like, yeah. yeah. It was yeah. like it was amazing. I would do it again anytime. So would I. Yeah. Somebody should do it again for uh, for Puerto Rico. I, yes, of course I would yes. do it again. We have to. No. We have to do it. Now, you are, I got a lot of photos here. I got a lot, a lot of photos of here. Uh, now, of course, you play Gloria on Modern Family, but yes. you have your own, your own family. You're, you're married to the hunk right here, Joe Manganiello, uh, right there. Ah, yes. That is... Very good husband. Very good hunky <laughs> husband. Now, is he, is he, is he, is that just an image? Is he hunky in real life? Uh, well, he's spectacular, but he's, uh, you know... <laughs> Wow. It's wow. like it's like that waking party. up, it's like waking up every morning to the Eiffel Tower. I mean, you don't get tired of that view no matter what. It's like really? it's not like it's not like you yeah. wake up one day, it's like this stupid tower always in the you know, yeah. on the way of everything. They no, say if you like, have the Eiffel Tower for more than four hours, you should call your doctor. <laughs> I've heard that too, yeah. yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. <laughs> But he, you know, he's fantastic. He's, uh, we get along, we don't fight, and he does his thing, I don't mind thing, he works, I work, it's great. Yeah, it's I a, hear, yeah. I've heard you accuse him of being a nerd. In what way is, hold on, he in is, what way is that he a is, nerd? He is inside of him, he was just put in the wrong body. I tell him, you're, in, you're trapped oh. in the wrong body. Poor him. Yeah, he is. <laughs> Because I'm a nerd, I'm a nerd trapped in the right body. And I'm gonna tell you, that's not working out too good either. <laughs>
So how is he a nerd, it's though? Because, I, like, when I even when I met him, I almost didn't go out with him because he was too handsome. And he is a nerd. He all he does is read, play Dungeons and Dragons. No way. He, yeah, that's his no thing. No way. I promise you, it's like I think the the next thing that gives him more pleasure than me is Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> Because I played Dungeons and Dragons, I mean, for years, Dungeons and Dragons. I played in high school, so and I want to tell you, all of us looked like this guy. All of us. <laughs> Everybody in the Dungeons and Dragons Club. You have to come to my house, and wherever you are in LA, he does these, like, I think they're like marathons. I don't know what they yeah, yeah, are. Yeah, sure, sure. Yeah, 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 because they play like for six, eight hours. Yeah. I lay out like cheeses and things and drinks and coffee, and I don't go down there ever again afterwards. <laughs> and You're the nicest mom ever. It's, it's, <laughs> <laughs> By the way, yeah. Yeah. But he, I love it, you know, it's like there's a lot of guys, and there's girls that play that too. Yeah. Um, I don't understand the game, but I feel like it's something very interesting that maybe I'm not qualified for. It's very mysterious. You're totally qualified. It's very You're mysterious, totally qualified. no? It doesn't require anything other than loneliness. <laughs> now, tell me about... You actually have, you actually have a, a business... Where did that you get a, that? Uh, they gave it to me. Oh. This is a business that has a charitable endeavor. It, tell me what Ebby is. Well, Ebby is this. Hold on. What is I'm going to show you my underwear. It's a... Wait. I'm going to show I you... I got all the time in the world. <laughs> I'm going to show you my underwear. <laughs> wow. That's a neat trick. Wow. I've seen bras being taken off before, but that is... Hold it. Okay, it's okay, clean. You take, you take the other side there. It's okay. clean. Uh -huh. <laughs> Abby means empowered by you. Okay. It's a, a company that I just launched with Renata, a black and other Colombian woman. Mm -hmm. You can take it. Oh, it's like, yeah. It's like, put it in like. <laughs> Not here. Yes, give, yes. Me, give me. Yes. yes. Like yes. this. Oh. <laughs> Go back. I really want to go back and show this moment to my high school Dungeons and Dragons <laughs> self. It's all gonna work out, buddy. It's all gonna work out. Yeah. So, so you founded this company well, with another woman from Colombia. Well, I founded this company. Um, I was not interested at all in uh, in selling underwear. Mm -hmm. And I met this girl called uh, Renata Black, and she came to me with an idea on the phone and I'm like, you know what, a lot, I get a lot of people like, tell me, why don't you join us here, we invest in this, or be a spokesperson. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, always, you know, I have, I have to first see what the product is. So I said to her, okay, first of all, you have to show me your underwear. <laughs> and, and she did, she showed me her underwear. He sent it to me and I loved it. I loved it, it was like, I thought, it's like, I mean, the, why, there, why is there to invent about an underwear? And there, it's, you'll never feel a better underwear than that one. Mm -hmm. It doesn't bulge, mm -hmm. it doesn't like bend, it it's doesn't super, do anything it's, wrong. It's super givey here, it's, got another one right here, that's yeah, fantastic. It's fantastic. Obviously teal, lovely, you don't even need pants. But that's not even the more important thing. The more important thing is that we wanted this idea to be of, we wanted a business for us that we were gonna help women get their own business. So with 10% of the net price, we're giving them the, uh, the money to women to finance their businesses. So these are microloans to people micro -loans like, like to Muhammad women. Yunus started in India, that sort of exactly. thing. Exactly. So we're going, first we're going to Colombia and we're giving all these loans to women to empower them, to tell them you can you know, make your own money, do whatever you want with it, help your kids, because women don't spend their money on like alcohol or gambling. We spend it on our kids or our family. family. So I think it's important to give them that little push and, and it's amazing. And we thought the next round of, of, uh, don't, of, um, of money, we're gonna give it to the women here in the United States because of what has been happening this uh, whole month here. Uh, so now Colombia, and then it's gonna be the women in the United States. Well, uh, United We Stand. The company is called Ebby. The woman is Sofia Vergara. Modern Family begins tomorrow night on ABC. Right back.